All right, guys, I'm gonna be going over, you know, the proper way or the way I like to do leg press and, um, you know, the foot placements and what part of the actual legs that you're, you know, focusing on. So let's start off with the quads. So when I do quads, I do more of like a, kind of like a shorter width, but I try to keep my heels at the lower part of the actual platform. And from here, um, just go straight down. And you can feel it kind of just like contracting your quads. You also feel in your hamstrings as well, but not as much as you know the quads. So this will focus mainly your quads. And then if you want to contract more of your hamstrings, you want to just bring it up a little higher and a little bit wider. And the goal is to always press with your heels. Um, some people, they press with their toes and that's, you can injure yourself from doing that. So you want to really focus on pressing with your heels. You should feel it when you're bringing it down right here and then right up. And same thing with the quads. Keep it, you know, you still want to press with your, with your heels, but you don't want to go as deep when you're doing it more of the lower position. So you kind of want to just come straight to like where your, your knee's been at 90 degree and then press. Whereas the, the, the wider grip, focusing the hamstrings, you have more flexibility to go a little lower. So you can do that. Same thing goes for a squat. Some people like when they squat, they'll go inwards and on the way up, you can see their knee kind of tweak a little bit. So, you know, the goal is to always keep it shorter width and then slightly outwards, kind of like this. And then from here, press with the heels. All right, guys, moving on to the flat barbell bench press. For this, I like to put my stance kind of, you know, get make sure I have my foot really um, uh, planted into the floor so that way I get stability when I press. Then when I lay down, as far as my grip, I like to go shorter width. I mean, if I go too wide, then I won't really feel it. And then if I go too close, I feel more in my triceps. So let's go about like shorter width. From here, I like to get a little arch, kind of lay on my shoulder blades. Like you don't want to lay flat like this because when you're pressing, you're not really going to feel it in your chest. Whereas with that little arch right here, you can really feel it. So let me show you guys how I do it. It's really important to make sure your elbows are coming like down to your lats instead of to the side, kind of like your shoulders. Also, when you're pressing with this, you wanna make sure your elbows are coming kind of like, you're not flaring it out like this. You wanna literally just come down right here and then picture yourself bending the bar inwards like this, kind of doing like a chest fly. But obviously you're gonna be pressing. Do it one more time for you guys. So get the arch, foot placement, come down, press in. And uh, this is the way that you shouldn't do it. Like coming like this, because you could really injure your shoulders if, you, if you're going like too heavy and you kind of just come in, come down there in proper way, you can really like mess your shoulder up. All right guys, moving on to the cable curls. For this, I like to hold it, hold my grip kind of, we'll do the closer grip. And from here, a lot of people, they like to kind of like turn their wrists up and they just curl like this. I like to keep it kind of like, kind of loose, but the goal is to keep my elbows here. So like my elbows shouldn't be, you know, jerking up like this. A lot of people, they like to do curls and they're just jerking up. You wanna keep it stationary and then from here, you're just pulling your, your arms, like your forearms, should be the only thing moving. Your elbows should be stationary. So it should look like this. And you wanna keep your elbows back. Cause like once you start leaning in, that's where you start using like your shoulders like this. You wanna keep it back, keep your chest up, right up. Cause like you don't wanna go too heavy. I remember when I was a lot younger, I used to go like super heavy and then you know, I had that tendency to just use my shoulders and use all that leverage. Main goal is just, Keeping your elbows, you know, right here, and your forearm should be the only thing moving. And you know, you can do this with pretty much every single grip. Same thing with the hamstring, uh, hammer curls, elbows. Keep it still the same. Reverse grip, same thing. All right, guys, we're gonna be moving on to the lat pull downs. I'm gonna show you what I like to do and what worked best for me. So for the grip part, a lot of people they like to hold it like this. 
I like to put my thumbs over because from here, I feel more of a contraction in my lats. Whereas here, I feel more of just like, kind of like my biceps. But um, basically, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Kind of just put my thumbs over, arch my lower back slightly, and then from here, pull down. And like, as far as the grip, you don't wanna go too wide because, you know, depending how tall you are, I mean, if you're taller, then it might be better to go wide. But like for me, like if I were to go this wide, it would just be too wide for me to really contract my back. Whereas if I go more shoulder width, I can really squeeze. Like this is how it would look if I go really wide. Like I can still feel it, but not as much as if I were to go just slightly closer. From here, I can really contract. And another thing you want to avoid doing is like, you don't want to arch your back too far back and just start rolling like this. That'll be more of like a row. But then you don't also want to be too just stiff and you're just pulling like this. Because from here, you're not really going to be contracting as much. So you want to just flex your lower back, lean back slightly as you lean back, pull. But you don't want to lean too far back and then pull. You want to lean slightly, pull. 